Hey guys, this is Erin. I'm right here. Hello! Um, today I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm going to be doing on a regular basis to try to help in getting healthier and hopefully lose weight. So, the three guys that I'm looking at right now that you guys are watching are the three cups that go with a wonderful machine called the Nutribullet. See, there it is right there. That is the 900 series, meaning basically 900 is like how fast the motor runs. So you sometimes see them as like 600 or now they have like the RX which can cook soups and all sorts of things like that but I've got the 900 and I just love it okay so back to the cups these cups that basically you use for making like smoothies or mixtures for soup that you would heat up in a pan um, sorry about that, still dealing with a breathing problem. Um, basically what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to be using them for my day-to-day -day work. Uh, this cup right here is a 32 ounce cup. And if you can see it, it has a little max line on it. That means that you really shouldn't fill it up much past that point. And usually what you would do is you would take greens of your choice, which is like salads and things like that, um, and you would fill it up to a certain amount, and then you can add other vegetables on top of that, or you can add fruits, whatever kind of thing you want to do. It's your smoothie, so go for it. Um, if you get a little bit high above the max line with just the the foods that you put in that's okay but the liquid that you have to add um, for the for everything to get blended properly it really should not exceed the max line because unfortunately the lid can leak and that I've cleaned up that mess far too many times it's just kind of annoying so basically, this is my breakfast every morning, and I started this today, so I kind of wanted to let you guys know, you know, kind of what I'm going to be doing and things of that nature. Tomorrow, I will probably actually record a video for you, showing you kind of what the process is. Uh, the next cup down is it's smaller but it has the max line as you can see and basically it's the same idea just try not to get above the max line um, and if you do be very careful with that um, this cup is a 24 ounce so you go from 32 to 24 and you get two 24 ounce cups with this Nutribullet so basically you're going to follow the same pattern that you would with the bigger one, just in smaller quantities. This has been my lunch today, which I got to say, like I'm satisfied, I'm not hungry. Um, it's actually been really good for me and my energy level is a bit up today and I haven't had my two cups of coffee and like three cups of tea. Um, so, I'm kind of impressed right now. <laughs> um, this last one, this little itty bitty guy, um, you know, he also has a max line. And, you know, this is basically for those really, like for those times when you just like really need to get a little snack in you. Everyone should have a snack in their day. So, basically, I'm going to be using this as my snack. So my meals are going to go from 32 ounce breakfast in the morning, 24 ounce lunch in the afternoon or right after noon. Um, and then this will be my snack, which I'll probably do like 
It, I'll probably do a fruit smoothie, just to be honest, just for that little bit of help with the sugar and the energy and all that. Um, so again, this is an 18 ounce cup. This is what I'll be using as my snack item. And it too has a max fill line. Um, so you can't put too much in it, but you know, it's not that big of a deal if you put in just a little bit more than, you know, like if the blades, which is this lovely thing right here, the, it comes, you get two of these with the Nutribullet when you buy it. Um, so it's really helpful and really cleaning this thing is just literally rinsing it out. Now, if you have like a lot of powerful suction going on in your smoothie where, you know, it's just, there was a little bit of air, but, um, you know, basically if there's a little bit of air in there, it can kind of suck out the rubber ring that's in here. Here, I'll try to get you to better lighting. Okay, if you see that rubber ring right there that's like right outside, that thing can come out if the suction is powerful enough. And I've had that happen a few different times. But it's not, it's not bad. The ring will pop out. You rinse it. You, you know, you just, you rinse the blade as you would if the ring hadn't popped out. So, you know, just put it back in and you're good to go. Um, now these, these cups come with attachments. So like you can put a little ring around like the screw part here. So it's not like you're drinking straight from the cup. Like it, personally, I don't really care because I wash them each time after I'm doing it. Like I like really wash them. So, I mean, it's. It's really up to you. It's kind of what you feel comfortable with. And any one of those things is fine. Um, but basically, yeah. This is what I'm going to be using. And my goal is not necessarily to lose weight, but to get healthy. And I think this is a really good starting point. Um... You know, right now I can only do certain exercises and things like that because of my body pain and, you know, my breathing issue that I've let you guys know about. Um, so I just kind of have to, let's see, you guys have seen enough of that already. Hi. So basically what I'm going to be doing is those three cups are going to be my meal plan, my last meal of the day, like dinner, duh. Uh, sorry, I just woke up not too long ago because I just, like, I knocked out. So, I guess I was a little more tired today. Today's been a very long day. Um, and somewhat, uh, somewhat emotional, but, you know, you gotta live with it. Um, basically, that is my breakfast, lunch, and snack, and I will be eating, like, a solid meal for dinner every night. Like, I'm not just going to stick to smoothies as my meals completely. So, you know, it's, it's my first day trying it out, and as many of you know, in the journey of weight loss slash getting healthy... Some things might not always work. You gotta, like, try different things, be open to it, and listen to your body. Like, to me, that part is crucial. Listen to your body. If something's not right, your body's gonna let you know. <laughs> It'll let you know. So, for my dinner tonight, I'm thinking, like, I've got broccoli in the fridge... It's raw broccoli, and I'm going to, you know, take a pan, kind of cook it up a little bit, because I don't know about you, but I love semi-cooked broccoli, like al dente broccoli. It's so good. Um, and then I'm probably going to do some kind of grain. So, I mean, I have a, I, I have a bag of... Um, 
I don't know the brand of it right now, but it's a mixture of wild rice and quinoa. It's very, very good. I'm looking forward to trying it out, seeing what it tastes like. Um, I've had it maybe once, and I remember it tasted pretty good. So we'll see how I do with it. Um, and then, you know, I've got like chicken in my fridge from a few nights ago, like heat that up and there you go. You've got your protein, you've got some kind of vegetable and you've got a grain, you know, or sorry, I said that already. Grain, vegetable, protein. That's what I meant. So, you know, right now I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. I've been feeling better today than I have in a while. Like the pain's still really strong and you know, the breathing problem is still there, but for me it's kind of like mind over matter, you know. Don't worry about it. Like just do what I got to do and we'll be okay. Um you know, I'll let you know later tonight kind of how I feel after everything's settled in. Um, I can already tell that there's going to be quite a change in my body. <laughs> I can tell. And I think today, like more than ever, I kind of needed to wear the shirt that I'm wearing. Um, because it's really helping me kind of figure out what I want to do. I'm going to show it to you here. Hopefully my arm is long enough for you to see it. It says this body is made for and then it has a blank line and that is for you to fill in to make the shirt your own. Like to make it that empowering symbol for you. Um, need to check what time. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. I've got a few more minutes. Um, you know, I think today and the journey that I'm going to be taking, wearing this shirt to start off this new journey is a big thing. And I'm so... Right now, I'm really proud of how I've been doing today. Um, you know, my feet are still swollen, which I retain a lot of water, unfortunately. So, like, from the knees down, I'm swollen. It sucks, believe me. Um, but, you know, I'm not letting any of that get to me. I'm doing what I need to do for me. And in all honest truth, that's what we all have to do. Um, so, I'm going to continue doing this for a little bit, and I'm going to let you know every step of the way what's going on. Um, so for now, that's kind of all I have, um, and I will let you know kind of how things, how dinner went, all of that stuff. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye!